Stacking my paper, man, that's what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on, that's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on, that's what I'm on. Stacking my paper, man, that's what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on, that's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on, that's what I'm on. Yeah, I be on some other shit Came up from nothing hustling Y'all boys on this sucker shit Out here begging in the suffering I ain't asking for no handouts Hit the streets and got them bands out Been trill, yeah, I been bout it Gang sour, had to reroute it Bigger bitty, bigger car, bigger houses Better cush, more thousands Stand down, stand true Keep these fuck niggas from round me Lame niggas wanna down me Man, but you bitch wanna crown me You said what? What up YouTube? We on back on the Monte Carlo. We got the radiator support out. And we're ready to pull the motor out. Same back here. Try to pull the motor out sometime next week. Go ahead and jump the body. But it is Saturday. It is Saturday, March. No, damn. April 21st. So, and this is where we're at. Ready to support out. So, uh,. You guys saw in the pictures before. We got the boat out the Monte Carlo. So one day this week, maybe this weekend, next week, one of these days, we're gonna get the motor snatched out of this. But uh then we get back, start back recording. So see y'all when we get back on it. Up YouTube. We got it up out of there. Got it up out of there. It's finna go in the Monte Carlo on Tuesday. It's finna get picked up on Tuesday. So take this move to the scrap yard. One of these days this week. Get it up out of here. Yep, there we go. Gonna go to my boy Scotty on Tuesday. We'll be back on Tuesday. The Carlo getting pushed up front so Scotty can come get it. Got this little ugly dude behind the stern wheel. Playing with shit. Let's try to shift it. Get it out of get it out of uh park. Okay. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Get it out of park. Lift up on it. Lift up on the shifter. There you go. Now you're in reverse. I thought you were saying, oh, yeah. Well, come on. Come back. Come on back. Put that motherfucking gear. Don't lift up on it. Come back. Come back. All right. Now, go down. Push down. No, 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 no. Push the shifter down. It's complicated. I had to show you. I'm snapping that motherfucking door. Oh. Snapping shit. Go ahead and push this motherfucker. This motherfucker ain't finna do nothing. He don't even know why he got a slapstick. He ain't putting nothing in it. It's only one way in the show, y'all. I promise you. I'm gonna show you. Show me, goddammit, because I've been wanting one anyway. I'm glad. Alright. No, just go, yeah, go go that way. Then we're gonna swing him back. And you're gonna cut it to the lip. We get that fast in his ass one video, okay? Uh, it ain't West Coast customs or nothing, hell. Something like it. We something like it. Nah, we ain't shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't even get my ride yet. We ain't shit. We ain't shit. Hey, 
long as my motherfucking car get up front for Scotty. Hit them air shocks, got that bitch dropped in the no, back. No, them motherfuckers, one of them hooks. One of them hooks, that's yeah, cool. We're gonna leave it. I done, I done yanked one of those hoses. Look. We're gonna leave the air out there, motherfucker. Up front, so Scotty can come get it. He's gonna come get it in the morning. Right, I'm finna help you. Still waiting on Scotty to pick it up. It only take with one person to strap it down. Thank you. Take this motherfucker to the scrap yard. Yep, it is raggedy. It did what I wanted to do. Give me my motherfucking motor. What happened to it? It flipped over about a hundred times. Get in the truck, it's too hot out here. On the other side, it's a battery pack on this side. Yeah, I cleaned that side off for you. I son of a bitch. You okay? Talking to you, little girl. Yeah, this ain't doing shit anyway. Woo! Two thousand years later. Two. She back. Finally got her back. YouTube, we got the Monte Carlo back. Uh, yes, it has been gone this entire time. Yes, it's been gone for nine months. Um, I can honestly say, though, out of the nine months, only a month of it is on me. Um, well, I think majority of it is on me because um, when he picked it up in March, I told him that I didn't I didn't need the car until October. I told him that I wasn't gonna start on the car till October because that's when I really start on my bills around November December do my winter bills to get ready for the spring and the summer so um but it's January so I didn't get it in October but like I said the last month was definitely on me so when he called me in December and said hey man your car is ready I had a little personal situation that I was going through to where I told him it's going to be a couple of weeks and it ended up being a month so I guess you can say majority of it is on me because I wasn't in no rush. And I can honestly say within the nine months of him having the car, um, I've only asked him about three times when it was done. So even though every time he called me, he needed parts, he needed whatever he needed, I always stopped what I was doing to take it to him. Whether it was gas line, whether it was oil, it was a new battery, it was a radiator, it was a water pump. Every time that he's called me, and said, hey, you know, I need this. I never hesitated. I never said, you know, wait till Friday. I always stopped what I was doing and took it to him. So I didn't. I don't like people waiting on me, but uh, I don't mind waiting on you. I just don't want you waiting on me. So, but the job, I'm very satisfied with it. I love the car. I just hate that I'm peg-legging. So next week, we're going to do positive gear, positive traction we're gonna put 14 gears in the back um right now because i just got the car yesterday this is his rim when he was bringing it halfway to meet me it caught flat no i'm sorry while he was test driving it while he was tuning it and test driving it, he caught a flat and put one of his rims on it while i was driving it from where he met me yesterday i caught a flat on this side but when i got to the shop I was able to go to the warehouse and pick up two new tires. So what I'm doing now is 
I'm taking his rim off. If you're gonna meet up with him, he's gonna give me my rim and we're gonna swap back so I can put a new tire on my rim and put it back on the car. Now, <clears throat> it's a few things that I gotta fix on the car. I got a I got a huge exhaust leak, which I'm not liking right about now. It's coming right where the header and the muff and the muffler meet. Uh, the dude that did my exhaust, um, he couldn't crank the car because it was a problem with the alarm system. So they wasn't able to crank the car when they did the exhaust. The reason being is the alarm system was keeping the car from cranking, which I have it bypassed. Well, Scotty have it bypassed where the wire, where the relay goes. So, it's Thursday, I don't know what day it is, I think it's December 30th, 31st, somewhere in there. It's Thursday, and between now and Friday, we're going to go back to the exhaust shop, we're going to get that leak fixed, we're going to take it to my boy Jazz to get the remote started, the alarm installed, and then we're going to go to next week, do the positive traction, do the gear. 410 gears and then man i'm gonna figure out which suspension i'm gonna run i don't know if i'm gonna run uh qa1 menzer or vikings so i'm, I'm trying to de trying to decide between the three i'm um, doing coilovers i'm going doing away with the spring and the shock and i'm just doing straight coilovers front and back i'm just doing everything new and up to date so like i said right now i'm doing my homework between the three and i'm gonna decide within a couple of weeks what I'm gonna do and then we're gonna move once the suspension is done then we're gonna move to paint and interior which will be getting done at the same time and I'm sorry guys I'm not finna crank it right now because we got to get this rim off we are already four minutes and 43 seconds into this video and all I did was talk and I need to get this rim off and meet up with Scotty so I give you guys a cold start when I come back all right, y'all. What up, YouTube? All right, we got the tire off. Gonna put a jack stand under this. Then we're finna go meet up with my guy. The main reason why, before you guys cuss me out, the main reason why um, I cannot start it up is I replaced everything on this motor new. I mean, all front seal, main seal, rear main seal, water pump, starter, uh radiator the fans i mean every single thing on this motor is new except for the fucking alternator so driving it here the alternator starts overcharging and what it did was it burnt off the wire in the back so as of right now i have a brand new battery because like i told you everything on this car is brand new Everything on this car is brand new. So, the only thing that I did not change, see, water pump, brand new, is the alternator. So, um, that's the main reason why I can't start it right now. Um, I actually got to go get a brand new one. So, we're going to be taking this one off today. Fixing that, that wire and um, reinstalling it and see what happens. But... The back part of this was glowing up red, glowing real red, and it burnt everything off. So right now it's only running off the battery, which is new, and I don't want to mess up. So that's why we can't do a cold start this morning. So anyway, YouTube, let's go meet up with Scotty and get him in this tire, get my tire, and then uh, we'll be back. Alternator is off. A brand new one. The plug burnt up. So I'm gonna clean this up. We wire rewire another end. And uh that's it. This sucks that you gotta take the alternator out to put uh <laughs> power steering fluid in your car 
Or unless you got a little skinny nose that you can go around the bike side. Hey. The shit that we don't think about. We do shit like this. But anyway. Let's roll, let's roll to the zone and get one of them new alternators and uh, put it on and see what we got. All right, y'all, we'll be back. What up, YouTube? We're leaving the muffler shop, y'all. Sounds a whole lot better now. Oh, shit, I'm finna wreck this motherfucker. Get the fuck out the way. So, we rolling. No more exhaust leak. It really was uh, something real simple. It turned out to be, uh, but the guy to do my swaps, something about uh, he didn't use or he don't use the O2 sensors that go into the pipe. So they forgot to plug the pipe. So that's where the leak was coming from. So he threw something in it, tacked and welded up, done deal. So, no more leak. Something that simple. Took him about five minutes to do. I only got but like 20 seconds of video. So, as soon as he put it in the air, saw the hole, tacked it. Before I could get through push and record, he was done. So, that simple. So, all right, y'all. We heading to the shop. Next thing we're going to do is try to get this alarm put on so I can stop. Uh, so, I can stop. Uh using this wire to crank my car so we'll be back when i get ready to do that what up youtube we're back in the mmc the ss uh we got everything fixed on it today we got the exhaust fixed uh, i had a block off hose that was leaking at the radiator had to get that fixed and uh, we stood around and waited till my boy Jazz could do my alarm so he could stop cranking it with the wire. But uh, he's booked up until Tuesday. So, no, y'all can't see me, but I know y'all can. Hopefully, y'all can hear me, these loud ass pipes. But uh, Tuesday, he said he can get to it. So, we're going to drop it off Tuesday morning. So, after the alarm get put in, we're going to uh, end this part two, and then part three, we're going to, um, part three, then we're going to start on the body work, gutting out the interior, suspension, and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, uh, taking it home right now, putting it up, and it's going to sit up until Tuesday. So, all right, y'all, y'all take it easy. See y'all Tuesday. What's going on, YouTube? Not sure where I left you guys on the Monte Carlo, but I got some folds and put it on folds. I think I left you guys when I was doing that alarm system which I still haven't had time to do so but my wheels is rubbing 
So now we're gonna lift it up a little bit. We'll do a little bit of cutting. And we're gonna test drive it. So we'll be back. Knock the flap off, which is in the back seat of the truck. But anyway, let's lift this motherfucker up some. All right, child, we got it lifted. I see I did some cutting up in there, but I raced it last night, and my whole front suspension felt like it was going to tear apart. And all my sway bar links was fucked up. So, installing all the new links. So now I'm gonna do the other side. We'll be back. All this shit right here is gonna be replaced new also. All right. What up, y'all? It's July 11th. 
to so give y'all a update on the Monte Carlo, which really isn't nothing. Um, as you guys saw in the previous clip of it running and with the wheels on it, nothing has changed. Um, I got my axles, which are in the trunk. I got the rear end gear, which is all right here. You know, you know, it's all brand new in the box. Um, the double den is right there. Really haven't had time to do anything to it since I got the gear. Um, it's actually been sitting in here for a month now. Um, now it's to the point to where I'm putting money into my shop. <laughs> the video of the of this gray truck. I told you I stopped on that because I was putting money into the Monte Carlo, but now I didn't stop putting money into the Monte Carlo and start putting more money into the shop. So, but I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna jump back on it. But I've been getting people want to buy it, so for the right price it might go. Y'all know me, it might go. But um, as of right now. The wheels are definitely for sale. I think I'm going to go with a different wheel. I think I'm going to go with a different wheel. Well, I know I'm going to go with a different wheel. Uh, bought these used. And uh, they look okay. But I think I want a different look of paint. The paint that I'm going with it and all of that stuff. I don't think the wheel is gonna look good with my paint scheme, so. But, anyway, everything's still A1. Yeah. I'll crank it up for you guys one more time. Just giving y'all the update. She's just in my garage on jack stands. Key and ignition. Oh man, the battery's dead. Damn. I left the damn key. I left something on, y'all. Well, can't crank it today. That's a brand new fucking battery, too. I must have left something on. I mean, don't laugh at my little grill, man. I don't know how to grill. I'm pretty sure I'm like the only dude. I don't know how to grill. Yep, I don't know how to grill. But I can paint the fuck out of a car, though. <laughs> but anyway, man. That's it. Like I said, man, ain't nothing changed. We three minutes in this little update. It's already a little longer, so. But. Part three, man. Either I'm going to be taking it to the shop. And we're going to start doing the body work. Or part three. It's going to be sold. And something else is going to be in this spot. If you are interested. In buying a car. Text me. Right there. I can tell you everything that's done to it. And the price. Alright y'all. This is the end. Subscribe and see what I do next.